Oh, welcome to Hell Architect, the demo. My name is Usser. My wife told me I needed to try this. Uh, where's my mouse? There you are. Um, she said it's actually quite funny in the way you torture people and that I needed to play the game. So, we're going to make a new career. Our space bar to continue. Yes, let's. Okay. Another fail, um, I mean, candidate for the Hell Manager's position. Welcome, I'm Frank. <laughs> I will be the guide during your trial period. Okay. Our currency is suffering. It's obtained by torturing sinners, and you will find your current amount at the top of the screen next to a skull icon on the resources panel. Resources bar allows you to check your Hell's condition. It's at the top of the screen and contains information about many things, such as dirt, coal, and metal. Okay. Um, hell fact number 665. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> 665. Uh, for steering on the map, use middle click or WSD on the keyboard. Select or cancel, use left click or right click. More details you can find in the options under the controls button. You're done with the basics, now dig some resources. Look at the action bar at the bottom left screen and click on the dig icon. Left click and hold on a map tile to dig. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. I got four dirt. Can I dig over there too? Oh, I can, okay. You're just gonna keep going down, girly. Okay. Having trouble keeping them busy. Okay, dude, can you just go straight to there? How long is that gonna take you? Time until next center. So what what happens when she gets like down here? Build. Uh basic. Oh I can build a ladder. That's how she can get across. Um, dig. Like, I feel like- oh! Oh, there we go! Zoom out, W-A-S-D. Okay, um... And then, let's, uh, build some more ladders. She's gotta get her butt back out of there. Oh, no, no, no. Build. Cancel. Ah! Collected all required resources now for the next step. But did you say something? Curious now, are you? Huh. Easy now. It will not be the cat that get that curiosity killed. Okay. Calm down, Frank. Uh, resources collected. It's time to build structures that will allow for swift movement through hell. Ladders and floors. These will let you create new levels. On which, for example, you can place structures. I've been building ladders. Finally, repeat the, repeat the process and place a floor. Alright, so we need to build a floor. Floor fragment. Um, wow. Can I not? What am I missing? Oh! Okay, so, um... Already? Are you kidding? I mean, good job, candidate. Torch is one of the more basic objects. This makes your hell much more cozy. Remember, though, some sinners may be sensitive to light, so torches can trigger phobias. Looks or efficiency? What will you choose? <laughs> okay. Um, 
Uh, let's let's build some light. Where? Right there. Um, and then build some ladders. Boink, boink. Boink! I don't have enough resources. You've already built a torch. It makes me burst with er, pride. I'm impressed. Time to learn about the character card. Open it to see more details by left-clicking on any of the sinners. It's a green icon in the top right corner. It's one of the modifiers. This one informs you that every new sinner has a protection period. Needs won't decrease. Hover over it if you want to learn more. In the top right corner. I'm not seeing it. Whatever. Um, this below is fortitude. It indicates a sinner's level and grows automatically during torturing. The better a torture, the better a torture is suited to a sinner, the faster fortitude increases. Slop, tread, devil's friend. Hmm. Similar icons for tortures to get full knowledge about efficiency, you have to compare them. If a sinner's level is the same as a structure's level, the efficiency is max. Okay. It's lower than a structure's level, the efficiency is decreased due to debuffs. If a sinner's level is higher than a structure's level, the efficiency increases, but only for a while because the sinner will grow fast. Find sinner's needs below their fortitude from the top. Hunger, thirst, fatigue, and bladder. Uh, special bars and numerical values, which range from zero to a thousand, should you should let you read them much easier. Higher is better. That's the case for the first three stats. As for bladder, the higher the value, the closer the sinner is to an imminent trip to the loo. Take a look at the other side of the card. To do this, open the second tab by clicking the muscular arm icon. Okay. Traits are found at the top. They are key during torturing. Each sinner has a percentage traits value. It indicates how much additional suffering you will generate just by using this specific sinner. Remember that the sim should have the same traits as the torture device. This allows for maximum efficiency. Fine, let's proceed. Uh, skills are just below traits. They work similarly, but the values range from 10. Structure makes use of one skill. For example, the kitchen uses cooking skill, hence the better dinner is at cooking, the higher the kitchen's performance. Uh, let's talk about tortures. One of them is the Iron Maiden. It's the cheapest, but generates the least suffering. As they say, you have to start somewhere, right? Let's collect resources required to build it. You can see what you need in the top left corner of the objectives panel. Good luck. I need 60 dirt. Dirt. Dig. So, I mean... Right there. Um, you, sir. Let's get started. Next center in zero minutes and 45 seconds. am I doing for dirt? Okay, I've got more to do. Get to work, people! Hey! You already have collected all the resources. Hope you burn in the mad respect you deserve for that. Now that you've collected the resources, it's time to build your first torture device. I hope you remember how to do it. I will tell you again, but do not make me repeat myself. Choose build, then choose tortures. Why are we doing this? The Iron Maiden! Boinky, hey, you guys, I want you to build yourself a torture device. Nice job! Click on the Iron Maiden. Now look at the empty sim slot at the bottom. Click on the green plus right below. This lets you assign the first sinner and start generating suffering. Yay! Oh god, I don't know what to expect, but fuck. Got it! 
Good production has started and is going quite well. Let's discuss it for a second. Look at the left. Look at the cycle block in the middle of the card from the left. We can see sim silhouettes, value of the ongoing cycle, and a corresponding icon. We're about to get some suffering! Yay! Number of silhouettes is the number of assigned sims. The amount next to it depends on the current cycle. Cycles the time after which a sim produces. Every additional sinner adds to this, but not the Iron Maiden's case. It has space for just one sim. The sounds. Okay. Yeah, kind of next to it represents this duration of the cycle, too. The shorter the cycle, the faster it fills up. Below the cycles is the center panel, as you've already know. Clicking on it under the on the plus under an empty portrait will make one of your sinners come do your bit. Yeah. Another way to do it, click and hold a sim for a moment to grab them and their soul will be transferred to any torture. Let go of them once you're done. Sinners can leave a structure in two ways. When you release them manually, uh, when any of their needs falls to critical level. If the latter happens, remember to reassign the sim to a torture if you want the suffering production to continue. Uh, if you want to monitor the status of the added sim, just click on their silhouette. Once done, their character card will open. Okay, time to proceed. Click on the cog icon. Uh. Okay, the traits you see here have already been explained. Uh, ensure that sims have the same traits as the tortures they occupy. It will pay off. Uh, three types of basic info, the type of the structure, the product it yields, and how long the cycle lasts. Here it's fixed. Note on the far right. Note on the right is far more important. The base amount you see is the base value of the suffering this torture generates. Uh, level mismatch debuff is the loss of suffering you incur when the levels between a sim and a torture do not match. Keep a close eye on that and remember, hell is not a place that forgives mistakes. <laughs> uh, all structures include tortures, affect the needs of the sim. When the sim and torture levels do not match their needs, start dropping drastically. Needs decreasing speed informs you about this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Current amount of suffering is a summary of sorts. It indicates how much suffering you gain at the moment, including all the modifiers. Sinners must sleep on something. For now, a paper box will do. It's cheap, but uncomfortable. The Spartans get up as soon as they reach the yellow bar. But something more comfortable? Surely you jest. This is hell. This is not a place for luxuries. Think about improvements once you reach a higher status, if you even make it to that point. Okay, so I need to build... Wow, bedroom. Paper box! Oh, I need dirt! Okay. Um, but now, already got the resources needed. Fine job indeed. What? Well, you want a private builder? What is that supposed to mean? You will place this paper box and you'll do it now. Now, damn it! Alright. Hey, yeah, yeah, paper box point. There you go! You guys have bed now! Um, we also need to build some ladders, people. Boink, 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 boink. That way you guys can get to places. I guys just in the Iron Maiden until I'm done with him. Not sure how I should feel about all this. Okay. Of this ego stroking, I care not if you built it according to my instructions or not. Uh, it's time to get acquainted with... The provide card, click on the paper box. So there are people who need to use the toilet. D do we have to care about that right now? Uh, yeah. I already know how cycles work, so I will not discuss them. The difference is that in <laughs> my type structures, number of sims does not affect the duration of the cycle. It's always the same. Uh, you can assign sinners manually, but they also satisfy their needs. They enter and leave themselves. Uh, the other side's simple, but let's take a look at it for peace of mind. Top there is serve, since you deliver products and serve dishes, just like you deliver your sinners to sleep. I wonder, can they even dream in hell? That's your simple, yeah, okay. 
Time to discuss a crucial structure. Your sims may soon ask you to build a toilet. Let us do so. Collect the necessary resources for... Uh, where's, where's toilet? Oh, I need dirt! Ugh! I always need dirt. Jesus. I don't care if you have to pee, get to work. Yay! I've got the stuff. Time to construct it. You can find it in the drink category. What? Toilet is in the... Used by Sarah as a toilet and produces excrement. Oh, goody! Hey guys, build the toilet! That way you can go to the bathroom. What am I gonna do with excrement? So this is apparently a lot like uh, oxygen not included. Um, my wife said it was easier. Uh, Lucifer will be pleased, probably. Uh, clicking on the structure opens a production provide tab. We will not spend a lot of time on this since it works similarly to the cardboard. Copy of the torture card minus the badges. Sim levels do not matter here. Let's take a quick look at the other side. Okay. Uh, you can see that by looking at the mount here, the number comes from one sinner because we only need one cycle for the sim to defecate. Uh, <laughs> the noise is just... <laughs> I mean, they had to go for a while. Um, you have no influence over how much excrement you produce. Well, on the topic of meeting the needs, drinking is one of the basic ones, is it not? That is why it's time to build a machine that converts excrement into dirty water. Water squeezer. Oh, God. <laughs> so, we take their shit and we squeeze it like a juicer. And we give them water. I mean, it's hell. I get it, but... Okay, um, we need suffering. Apparently. Someone's coming to suffer! Uh, I need more dirt. Like usual. Um, dig. Just keep going this way. I'm nervous about digging down here, like I think they would fall through and fall to their doom type of a thing. Let's just build sideways for now, or dig sideways, I should say. Already got the resources needed? Fine job indeed. Uh, you have what you need. Time to build. Be quick about it. Your series will want to drink, and you have to fill their needs. A water squeezer is to produce dirty water. Let's put it right next to that. Oh wow, you guys did a great, great job. However, we've got metal, stone. We'll get to it. Oh, ready? First you linger, now I can't even take a quick nap. You have to sign someone to work to do this click on the machine. Okay, click on that, and we are good to go. Uh, okay, note, if there's no large exclamation mark in the upper right corner of the building, it means a lack of resources. A lack of resources will not allow you to assign a character to... Okay, they should be able to climb out, and if I get that one, they should be able to climb all the way up and down. I think we will have to skip the discussion about the cycle, just like in the Sinners panel. Sinners are not eager to work. We have to assign them to work manually. Uh, Sinners will work until one of their needs falls into the red zone. If that happens, they will stop working to satisfy their need. Afterwards, they will return to work on their own, but only if several conditions have been are met. Make sure you always have structures that satisfy the needs. If a specific si structure is not placed or is occupied, the sim will stop working and wait for it to be built. <laughs> Misspelled work. Or become vacant. The yellow icon will appear above the structure, showing that there are no workers. Okay, got it. 
After breaks in their work, there must be no obstacles on their return path. About the other side? Not really. It's a structure that produces raw materials and finished products. The upper panel of the two parts. Left is processed right what it produces. Lower the stats. As you can see, Water Squeezer uses cooking skill, so it's best to assign sinners with cooking skill to it. Already where the rest let's move on. I'm, I think I'm clicked on the wrong thing. Anyway. Uh, it's time to find out what everyone in hell is drinking. For now, we will use a metal bucket, which, just like paper box, meets the needs of the yellow field only. Time to collect necessary resources. Do not make me wait long. What is that? Already got the resources needed. Fine job indeed. Uh, the bucket will not just appear from thin air. Place it now before you really raise my blood pressure. I'm... Wow. Okay. Place it right next to the squeezer. And you guys, um, go ahead and dig over here. Uh, what are you so happy about? Was constructing one structure really that satisfying? Get back to work. Battle Brain is the devil's workshop, as they Not that we mind devils here. Uh, the bucket fulfills needs, so it is a provide structure, just like paper box. As such, we will skip explanations. Cool. Plus ten dirty water! And we pour it here so you guys can drink. You're too slushy. Oh, God. Uh, okay, um, so what I do need to do is build ladders right there. That allows them to get up because I have a dig spot. There, get to work, people. I need resources. I need what? what's going on. No resources! I need somebody to take a shit! Uh, what about customizing food? I hear you ask. Where do you get the ingredients? I can already feel you getting excited. Get ready to see pure evil. Oh god. I'm only joking. Where was I? Ingredients for food production are provided by Flesh Farm! A structure from the basic production category. This is the most basic meat factory. Collect what you need to build it. Was that already? Got the resources needed. Fine find job indeed. Collect it. Good. Now build it. Oh, I don't want to! <laughs> build! Here we go! We'll put it right next to all the other stuff. Oh, good! We're going to get some poo! I was worried people were going to die of thirst. Get that poo, people! <laughs> They make the best noises. Uh, everyone in hell knows that you like attention by now. Good job, you built a flesh farm. Click on the completed structure. I'll explain the details as it differs quite a bit. Um, it looks absolutely horrifying. The only card that differs from others, production types, are the only ones which do not require sinners. As soon, it works as soon as it's built. Oh, good! By me. Okay. Oh, Do this in place of cycle. There's process. The rest is unchanged. Oh, the, there are no sim profiles too. I think you understand the situation. Yeah, I do. Uh, the process shows what the structure uses and produces. In this case, dirt and meat. So wait, they take dirt and they turn it into meat? How does that work? Uh, we will go through the entire processing and delivery process, as was the case with drinking. We use the cauldron for processing. You can cook on it using fire. Go grab the resources needed for it. Uh, build the cauldron. Just set everything up all together. Uh, you built a crawl cauldron. Why me, Lucifer? Skip discussing details. We've already gone through this with the water squeezer. Also, the candidate for the Hell Administrator office should catch on to such things, right? I'm glad we agree. Uh, where there was a bucket, there's now a trough used to feed all of your subjects up to the yellow bar, of course. Uh, roll along, collect what you need, and hurry, I grow tired of your snail's pace. I need suffering! 
Hello, could you suffer a little bit quicker, please? Get to it. Build it now, chop chop. A trough. Yeah, set up all our food and water needs, as well as the toilet and a DIY bed. As Lord Lucifer, Sir Lucifer would say, let's say it again. Congratulations, you built a trough. Card management uh, for the metal bucket is similar to that of the cauldrons and paper boxes. Take a look at your own leisure. I uh, just received information from Lucifer himself. He's pleased with you. In this case, the final test is upon you. Trust me, this is a serious one. I need to collect a ton of resources. Oh boy. Ugh. That looks disgusting. I don't know what they're eating. I mean, it's not supposed to be pleasant and fun, but... but yeah. Collected all the resources. It was a real challenge. You're getting closer, which scares me a little. Nevertheless, I have nothing else to do but give you the final request. Build the forbidden fruit. It's the last test. To pass it, build the forbidden fruit. Okay. That be under food? Aha. The research thing. Alright, well we'll put it right there. Go ahead. Oh, I'm at I'm at three times speed still. Uh, you made it. I was skeptical about you, but you did the job, and I'm starting to believe that you are worth something. Hell is now yours to rule! Is that... <laughs> well! Congratulations! Victory! Well done! If you like this, please add Hell Architect to your wish list on Steam. <laughs> it was horrible! It was terrible! <laughs> it was actually pretty funny, too. Ugh, the food and the water, you're, you're feeding them a poop smoothie to keep them alive. I'm kind of curious why you have to meet any needs in hell. Like, it seems like it would be more torturous if you just didn't give them a toilet. But I guess you have to uh, keep them somewhat sated so you can throw them in torture devices. <laughs> anyway, that was Hell Architect Demo. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you can see whenever I upload new videos. Links in the description for Facebook, Twitter, and the game. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you all in the next one. Bye! I love how he has a chain between his pierced nipples.